hey guys welcome back to our channel so today is just going to be a solo video um today i am making a hot cocoa bar as you can see from the title and the thumbnail um i am going to try my hardest to take the vision that i have in my head and from what i saw that inspired me to do this and make it successful so y'all gonna see the before and after of the area that i'm working with but let's go ahead and get into the materials that we have to build this but first because we're dealing with food. I'm already washing my hands. Let's go ahead and pull my hair back so we don't get no hair and nothing. Okay, so first for the jars, this is the hardest thing to find, but I thought these were perfect for the area. So I have five of these and I'm gonna put hot cocoa powder in it. And, ooh, these seal, it's sealed tight. That's another reason why I picked it, but see? So it's gonna seal tight, nothing's gonna go stale. So we have five of these. I brought these wooden platforms. Oh, and just to let you guys know, most of the materials that I have, um, I brought it from Amazon. I'll link it down below. I know as of right now, these are completely sold out. They're currently unavailable, but they have similar ones with silver lids. Um, you can go to Hobby Lobby in different areas, but I got mine from Amazon. I got these platforms from Amazon. I wanted to raise it up a little bit and not have it blend in with the counter. So this is going to be my main focal point. With these, I'm going to paint them um, red and white. So I'm going to have it um, red, white, red. It's going to be striped. You'll see how it turns out. But I have three of these because I wasn't sure how I wanted to do it. So I'm going to be painting all three of these, um, kind of playing around with it and see how I want to do this. So other materials that I have that I'm going to need for the building portion of this, I brought some sponges from Walmart. I'm sorry, you can't see them, but just basic little dollar sponges from Walmart. I have, where is it? I have two of these. I don't know what the other one is. I brought it downstairs and I laid it out and I don't know what I did with it, but I have a white one of these and I have red. Those are the paints I'm going to use for the wooden stands. I have my chalk labels. If they're too big, I'm just going to cut them down. Who's going to know? I might make them square. Who knows? Um, to write on the chalk labels, I brought these um, metallic Sharpies. Um, I believe these are the oil. Yeah, they're the oil-based ones. Um, see, it has like a little shake thing in it. So... That's the building portion. That's what I'm going to need to assemble. What's going to go inside? And let me tell y'all, this is a cheap DIY. So like this is like a DIY on a budget. Like if you want to, don't want to break your pockets, but you want to have a cute area, this is the stuff you want to use. So it was cheaper to buy two boxes of cocoa instead of buying a big container. These two boxes, what was like all together like, possibly three or four dollars you buy a big container it's like six dollars so you can take these packages open them as you go and dump them in, in containers i have mini marshmallows again walmart so these are open already because we wanted to try them but i have the hot cocoa kisses they're really good i have the um sugar cookie kisses and then I didn't find what I was looking for when I made my Target run. I wanted some peppermint balls, like the ones that melt in your mouth, but I couldn't find it. So to add that mint element, I am going to do the Addins. I think I'm saying it right. These are the mints that you get like when you go to Olive Garden. And when you're done, you pay your bill. They give you a few of these mints. Um, they're at a few restaurants, but I love these. Um, they're like dark chocolate mints. And then I saw they have one with a twist. Um, they have mint ones but it's cookies and cream. So those are gonna go into the jars. Y'all, I think I talked enough on this. We at four minutes. <laughs> so let me go ahead and jump into the building. This is the voiceover part. So let's get started. <laughs>
I am done painting. Um, the white needs a second coat. So while we're waiting for that to dry and we're going to do a second coat, let's go ahead and tackle the area that I was dreading showing y'all. Like this is a sore spot. <sighs> it's not good lighting over here. We have a little light, but okay. Y'all ready? Okay. Oh! Somebody! Oh! He needs God. some milk! I need y'all to simmer down. I'm ready to tackle it. And before y'all know it, it's gonna it's, it's gonna be good. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's gonna go from this to see. I told y'all it's together now. It's all together now. We got the coffee pot now, and then cocoa bar is gonna go right here. So let's go ahead. <laughs> perfect in another video i said i might have to cut them but i don't they're perfect that's how the first one looks i'm gonna keep going and then i'll come back to you guys y'all hey so i don't i i've been doing this for like i don't really want to say like two hours i um painted the contain uh painted the um what are they called wood plates palettes wood palettes um, I painted the wood palettes. I did a second coat on it. Um, they should be dry now. So I'm going to put up two options. I'm going to do it one way, see how it looks. And then I'm going to do it a second way that I was thinking just a few minutes ago. And then y'all comment down below which option you like. Um, and then again, I'm going to have all the supplies that I use. Um, every Everything is going to be in the description box down below. I'm going to remember to put it in there. I've been pretty good with doing it, but let's go ahead and get this set up. Like I said, it's not really good lighting, so I'm going to try to maneuver the ring light around here. So. <laughs>
I came back and rearranged the cups. I think, oh, I took the cookies off because it was for video purposes only. But I forgot these were in the cabinet. It says tis the season and it's cups that you can take it to go. Oh my gosh, it was so cute. So I had to come back and show you guys this. All right, so there you have it. My first DIY for Vlogmas. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And when you subscribe, you hit that bell to be notified of each and every time we upload a video. Sorry, y'all, I'm scooting down. <laughs> but um thank you so much for watching um if you want to see more christmas diy make sure you comment down below and let me know what you want to see um i hope you guys enjoyed um if you have any questions about anything that i use or you can't find it i do have alternate things places that i've seen it at that might be in your area so make sure you dm me at marlo's dreams to reality um on instagram make sure you know, just interact. Let me know what you guys want to see. Thank you guys so much for watching. We love you so much and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.